Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Did you have any hobbies? Yes, reading is my hobby. What kind of books do you like to read most? Many kinds of books. When I was a child in elementary school, I enjoyed reading fables and science fiction. When I became to a teenager at middle school, I was interested in detective mystery stories. Now I like reading romance stories. Are you in love? Why? People say only those that are in love like to read romance stories. Well, maybe. I haven't danced for a long time. Neither have I. We must go to a dance soon, or we'll forget how to dance. Yes, we must. What have you been doing since I last saw you? I've been studying hard for my examinations. And you? I've been learning Japanese every evening. Why have you been learning Japanese? Why not English? I hope to visit Japan next year. Well, we'll both have to start learning all the new dances. Yes, let's go into the dance hall and ask if we can take dancing lessons. A good idea. They can teach elephants to dance nowadays. Perhaps there's hope for us. Good luck. I've got class in a few minutes. Me too. I'll talk to you later. Okay. See you later. Is Water Shrinking Festival official? No. Most of the traditional festivals of the minority nationalities are not official. Don't you think these festivals are more interesting? What an idea. Hey, Jack, is Jenny coming with us? Yes. Why? Nothing. I am just asking. Just asking? Why is your face burning like mad? Aha! Uh -huh. Someone has a crush on Jenny, doesn't he? Who has a crush? Come on, Ted. Don't be such a chicken. If you like her, you've got to tell her. Maybe she likes you. Well, I don't have the guts to ask her out. What are you so afraid of? Just tell her what you are feeling about her. I'd totally die if she turned me down. But that's better than keeping everything to yourself. You've got to let her know. Come on. You've got to take a chance. Even though you are rejected, it's not the end of the world. There's nothing to lose, is there? I don't know. Well, maybe you are right, but how am I gonna tell her? Life's so boring. Well, most of the time it is, I guess. What do you think will make you happy? I think money will make me happy. You heard people say that money doesn't guarantee happiness. It will for me. Then I can do all the things I want to do. You'll get bored eventually. Then I can find something new to do. If I don't have to worry about money, then I don't have to work. That's true, I guess. If I didn't have to work, I think I would be happy. You see money doesn't equal happiness, but it takes away a lot of responsibilities. Can you name some festivals of religious nature? Yes, such as Christmas and Easter. What about historic festivals? Thanksgiving Day, Independence Day. What good sunshine. Let's go and get a suntan on the balcony. 
I've had enough of it while working under the sun in the day. I don't need any more sun tan. It's different in my case. I work in the office, so only rarely do I get the chance to get any sun. It might be good to you. But please keep in mind that too much tanning damages the skin rather than does any good to you. You might end up with skin cancer. Merry Christmas, Lily. The same to you, Joey. This is your first Christmas in the U.S. Here is the gift for you. It's very thoughtful of you. Wow, it is so beautiful. Could you tell me how American people celebrate Christmas? Okay. People decorate their houses, place a Christmas tree in the room and maybe sing a Christmas carol together. I have a suggestion. Why don't we go to a ETV and sing? A ETV? Are you serious? ETV? Yes. Why not? Don't you like ETV? I don't know. I never went to one. Never? Really? I'm surprised. Many Americans have never gone to a ETV. It's not an American thing to do. But there are a lot of KTs in this town. There's one just two blocks from here. Okay, let's go. Nick, how's it going? Oh, hey. What are you doing in this neighborhood? Do you live around here? Actually, my office is right around the corner. It was great to meet you last week at the conference. I really enjoyed our conversation about foreign investment. Yeah, yeah, it was really interesting. You know, I'm in a bit of a hurry, but here's my card. We should definitely meet up again and continue our discussion. Sure, you still have my contact details, right? You know what, this is really embarrassing, but your name has just slipped my mind. Can you remind me? Sure, my name is Anna Ferris. Don't worry about it. It happens to me all the time. I'm terrible with names, too. Looks like a good party. I probably know about half the people. Who's that boy? Where? The one next to the telephone. I don't know. Never saw him before. Why? I think he's the boy who just moved into my apartment building. Jack and Mary broke up. It's so sad. They had been together for only two months. Do you know what the matter was? Mary said Jack was cheating on her. Jack was seeing a girl from his hometown. One day. May saw them holding hands and ended the relationship immediately. Really? I'm very surprised. He doesn't look like a guy who'd ever do that sort of thing, right? No, he doesn't. Anyway, she found out that he had been two-timing her for a long time. Maybe it is for the best. They are not suitable for each other because they have nothing in common and are completely different people. How so? He is an extrovert while she is an introvert. He likes parties while she hates them. Poor Mary. She really liked him. Anyway, she was right to end things and she deserves better. Do you think they'll get back together? No, I don't think so. I know Mary. Once she makes a decision, she won't change her mind. I hope she'll recover soon. So do I. Don't cover up your sadness. Let it go. I'm sorry. It isn't your fault. No one will blame you. 
You are so thoughtful. It's getting late. I'm afraid I have to leave. Thank you for a most wonderful evening. Don't mention it. Don't forget to take your daughter along next time. Okay. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.